Hi, it's Marissa Williams with Southern Technical College and today we're going to go over some of those confusing nine multiplication tables. Oh my gosh, people love to hate these things, but there is a method to the madness. First of all, people always are complaining, well when I can't use a calculator, how am I supposed to remember all my multiplication tables? Well with the nines, there's a trick. So if you notice over here, one times nine, I can put a zero there, doesn't matter, right? So if I start with zero, I'm just gonna write one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. When I get to nine, I'm gonna repeat because we're doing nines. And then we're gonna go down to 10, 11, 12, 13. I'm gonna stop at multiples of 15. Going up the other way, I'm gonna start with nine, and I'm gonna say nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero, nine, eight, seven, six, five. So when you're writing those down, pretty easy to do. Now, when I'm thinking to myself, okay, how I know these numbers are multiples of nine, how do I know? Well, if you can add them together and they add to a nine, it's always divisible by nine. So zero plus nine is nine. One plus eight is nine. Two plus seven is nine. Three plus six is nine. Four plus five, nine. Five plus four, nine. Six plus three, nine. Seven plus two, nine. Eight plus one, nine. Nine plus zero, nine. This is where it gets tricky. 99, we have to add our nine plus nine. We get 18. We gotta add that 18 together again. One plus eight still equals nine. So sometimes you might have to add them up more than once, but whenever you have double digits, just add those double digits together. If those double digits add up to a nine, like one plus eight equals nine, the whole thing is divisible by nine. Same, one plus zero plus eight is still nine. One plus one plus seven, still nine. One plus two plus six, nine. One plus three plus five, still equals nine. So any multiples of nine are always going to add up to nine. And why is this good information to know? Well, when we get into those division problems and we get those scary looking numbers, let's just look over here. Boom, do we feel comfortable doing this? We're gonna feel comfortable right now. Let's walk through it. First thing we have to do when we divide, we flip it, always the second number, never the first, always the second. So that means that's gonna just turn. 99 over 108, that's what it was there, it stays the same. What changes is 63 over 54 becomes 54 over 63. Some people call that keep change flip. And anytime you divide, you always do that. Always flip the second number, never the first. I didn't make up the rules, that's just how it is. Now that we have these big old numbers, we gotta ask ourselves, what number can go into this? We're gonna cross cancel because I don't wanna deal with these big numbers, do you? Heck no, it's scary. So instead of reducing after the fact, let's reduce ahead of time. Now let's use our trick. Nine plus nine, we said that was 18. One plus eight, that equals nine. One plus zero plus eight, that equals nine. Five plus four, that equals nine. Six plus three, that equals nine. All of those numbers are divisible by nine, so let's divide them by nine ahead of time. And that's just what we're gonna do, divide nine into each of those. I'm gonna keep them in the same order, and I'm gonna come up with this. 11 over 12 equals 6 over 7. And you're like, wait a minute, how did you come up with that? Well, let's use our trick. 54 is on the top. What's one more than 5? Let's go over here. You're right, it's 6. So 9 times 6 is 5. That's a nice little trick you can do. And if you pan out here, what's one more than 0? 1. What's one more than 1? 2. What's one more than 2? 3. What's one more than 3? 4. What's one more than 4? 5. What's one more than 5? 6. What's one more than 6? 7. What's one more than seven? Eight. What's one more than eight? Nine. What's one more than nine? 10. Now remember, this trick gets tricky when you come to the nines. Now you're gonna go up by two. Two more than nine, 11. Two more than 10, 12. Two more than 11, 13. Two more than 12, 14. Two more than 13, 15. So that's a little trick of the trade that you can think, okay, now I know nine goes into it. Let's try it again. What's one more than five? Six. What's one more than six? Seven. Now we're in doubles, what's two more than nine? 11, what's two more than 10? 12. So that's how we got 11 over 12 times six over seven. But if you notice I have these little notes here, divide by six, why? Because when we cross cancel, we can go side to side or we can go up and down. In this case, looking side to side, we have a 12 and a six. What number goes into both of those? Six. So I'm dividing them both by six. In which case, six goes into six one time, Six goes into 12 two times. So over here, we have this rewritten like this. 11 over two 
times one over seven. Now, considering that we started with those big numbers, doesn't this sound a lot easier to handle? You betcha. So now we just multiply straight across the top. 11 times one, still 11. Two times seven gives us 14. So 11 over 14 is our final answer. Now we don't have to reduce it because we reduced it ahead of time. That's the joys of cross canceling. So again, I know using multiples of nine can be scary for a lot of people, but I hope that when you remember these little tricks of the trade, it'll help bring up your speed when you come to these big scary problems like this because we can reduce them to be as easy as this and get a nice easy answer. All right, if you guys have any questions, don't forget you can always email me, um, mwilliams at southerntech.edu. Have a good one.